Records indicate early settlers in the western sections of Virginia were quite aware of the rich black resources. Coal is reported to have been mined as early as 1810, when a mine was operated near Wheeling in the northern panhandle. The growth of the salt industry led to the opening of mines to supply furnace fuel during the 1820s and 1830s. The other coal fields in the state began to develop in the following two decades. Coal towns sprung up and thrived in the West Virginia hills during the 1800s, then disappeared into the mists of time. All that's left of some of these hamlets is the cemeteries where they laid their loved ones to rest. Their ruins dot the hillsides and meadows, waiting to be rediscovered to yield up stories from the past. Loggers working near Polka last spring discovered what appeared to be grave markers at the edge of a clearing and notified the Historical Society of Putnam County. Armed with rakes, shovels, pen, and paper, a group of volunteers from the local university arrived at the site to document the cemetery. We're here for West Virginia State University Cares Day and we wanted to collaborate with the Upper Vandalia Historical Society of Putnam County. So I contacted them and they let me know of a cemetery that had been discovered recently from logging. They, uh, some loggers had discovered a cemetery, so we're here to clean it up. There are more markers in here than what I thought would be. Um, a cemetery this old usually has lost a lot of its stuff. If it's not stolen, then just trashed. So um, I'm surprised that there's as many markers as there are and that the cemetery is as big as it is. I would say this probably covers about a half acre, which would be approximately 100 foot by 200 foot, maybe a little larger. My understanding is back in the early 1900s that there was approximately 300 houses in here, had a movie theater, had a uh, general store, and, um, you know, families made their, their life here. Nicole Jones has done some research on one individual named Alexander. And because we don't know much about anyone else, we're calling this, or she has decided it will be the Alexander Cemetery for now. I only thought there were about eight stones, and there was one that was legible. And I found out they were African Americans, and uh, this is a pretty rural area, so it's, it's kind of rare to find them here. And the, the, the surname was Alexander, and they worked in the mines. And actually, it was a Raymond City mine, which is probably three or four miles from this location. And General Avril, he was a Union general, and he, uh, he owned the mines that they, these African Americans worked in. A monument of approximately four feet in height, in very good condition, was discovered well beyond what was thought to be the cemetery boundaries. Further research of the engravings proved it was the final resting place of an African-American coal miner named H. Dickerson. Other surnames that could be discerned were Sanders and Coleman. More information will surface after further investigation can be done. While West Virginia encompasses thousands of cemeteries, the total number is unknown. They exist as church graveyards, small family plots, and community cemeteries, as well as memorial parks and gardens. Cemeteries are a part of West Virginia's heritage. Not only are they the final resting place where family and friends, but many are also associated with historic events and persons, and contain important information about the past. Thank you.